Hey everybody, it's Deanna. It's Wednesday, August 29, 2012. Yesterday was my one week post op. I didn't feel like doing a video yesterday. I'm still having a lot of pain on a lot of pain on my left side, which is where they did most of the work and attach it to a muscle, I think they said. But I wanted to do a, a little video and let you guys know I'm doing okay. I've been kind of miserable. Our air conditioner hasn't been working in the house and we came home to 87 degrees inside. I don't tolerate the heat very well. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to get a protein shake down. On a better note, I got my drain removed yesterday at the doctor's office and I've got shingles on my back which, knock on wood, so far is not very painful. I've got to try to get to see my family doctor tomorrow to um, get something for it. But I'm still laying down a lot, rotating side to side and trying to sit up a little bit, but it's very, very painful. I don't tolerate pain very well. Probably a, kind of a wuss with it. But we had the AC guy here this morning, and he said the air conditioner's running perfect. So he said that he checked a couple of closets, and one was 60 degrees and one was 80 degrees. So he think, said he thought that the ductwork was loose somewhere. So Ron has now torn the wall out in our laundry room, and lo and behold, it's freezing cold in the closet. And the ductwork is about, I don't know, this far, just wide open. It's not even connected. So we've been air conditioning the closet. That's why my electric bill is $300 in this mobile home. So hopefully, after he gets that worked on and retapes the duct and everything, it'll start getting a little bit cooler in here because it's, it's so hot. I look like crap. It's so hot in here. Um, we ran from the, tr the tropical storm Isaac back to my mom's the other day because I didn't want the power going out. If the wind knocked down trees or anything, when we got very lucky, and my thoughts and prayers are everyone in uh, Louisiana and. I can't believe it's the anniversary of Katrina and then they get hit again this morning. I just heard on the news that one of the levees broke, so my prayers are with everyone in the path of this thing. It's supposed to be going to Illinois and Indiana next, they said, um, and it's on land and it's still a hurricane, which is unusual. I miss you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been very talkative. I just, I handle this pain stuff and everything a different way I guess and I just I don't want to be depressing on my videos I know I am I depress myself um, but uh, I weighed when I got home from the doctor because they said that the first two or three weeks they weren't really worried about that I wanted a one week post-op video and when I started my liquids two weeks ago, yesterday I was 331.8. My pre-op weight the day before surgery was 318. And I'm now 311. So I lost 20.8 pounds in the last two weeks. Which I know it's because I'm not eating and liquids the doctor said the liquids are still shifting and swell, swelling from surgery still there. I'm not eating. Uh, yesterday all I had all day was a little tiny cup about this big full of broccoli and cheese soup that I really liquid liquefied with some skim milk and it tasted good but I just couldn't get very much of it down so today I'm trying to get down a strawberry bariatric advantage shake and drinking lots and lots and lots of water this is the cups they gave us at the hospital this is I'm almost through with my second one I'm trying not to get dehydrated 
bruises are healing pretty good. Just this one on my hand is hurting really bad. But I got about 150 videos that people have posted on YouTube since I've been off. So I'm going to lay down later and start watching them and commenting on them. But I love you guys. Thanks for the cards that I got in the mail, the get well cards. Thank you for my birthday cards. My birthday was three days ago and didn't really celebrate it. I had my cake the day before uh, my liquid diet started, so I got to have my cake. And um, looking forward to September 4th when I can start having some cottage cheese and scrambled eggs and stuff. And that's going to be nice. So, I love you guys. Thanks for all the support and the inspiration. Just thank you for caring so much. It means the world to me. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.